Hey gang, we're back. And you must be wondering why, when I read the title of this video, and I look at the boxes here, what the heck is going on? Well, let's have a little chat. Ring of Hills was an expansion that required Band of Heroes. It was an expansion pack that kind of launched, in part, uh, the, the system into the modern era. You know, there was the Vietnam stuff, but this was really the, the first effort to do something uh, set in the 80s. And uh, it was a great module. It was hard to get. Uh, it was uh, uh, rumored to be fantastic. It had some funny, awkward counters. There was a ship in it. There were landings. There were Argentinian Marines. There were, uh, you know, the Paras and uh, I don't know, also Royal Marines and all sorts of fun stuff, right? And uh, the key, the key thing for me about this particular module was the scenarios. The scenarios were by and large probably some of the best scenarios I'd ever played in. You know the old lock and load used to do these big uh, formatted scenario cards which you know they're expensive they take up a lot of space and stuff and sometimes they don't fit in the box but you know good stuff. Now here and here these were the whoops can I open it? Uh, here are the original maps right so pretty nice, beautiful color scheme. It really evokes the the Falklands Islands, the moss and the cold and the rocky outcroppings and all that sort of fabulous stuff. And it was very very cool. And so it was really hard to get. I don't know how much it cost at retail, but it you know you're paying eighty ninety dollars to get uh, one sheet of counters and you know nine maps or six maps or something like that. So. Along came uh, a, a, a reboot and a reprint, and it was pretty impressive. It uh, uh, repro reproduced the game in big box format. It got its own set of rules. You didn't need anything. There was no expansion required, and uh, it was all wonderful. And you know, you basically you got the same maps and all that sort of fun stuff. And there's a rec counter. And all that sort of goodness. But it came with the uh, X maps as well. You could also get the larger maps that were, I think, 25% larger, I want to say. But basically the same art, same hex outlines, and all that sort of groovy, groo groovy stuff. And this was sent to me gratis, so I am much appreciating that extra uh, map set, which I play on all the time when I'm pressed for space. I do go back to the old school sort of ASL style maps, right? Which now when you look at them, you're like, wow, how did I ever play on that stuff, right? So it's pretty funny. Let me put the lid back on this so we've got a little room. Put the scenarios back on the box, bear with me here. Uh, I, I always did think the, the artwork for this particular box was you know, particularly evocative. And the way that they kind of bled the map edge into the ocean and all that, and the little map of the islands, blah, blah, blah. Very nice. So, lock and load in its ever, I, you know, it's one of the things I think I like about the company uh, with the, the current management is that they're always iterating. They're taking a, uh, they're taking a system, they're taking a set of components they're taking the rules and the counters and the maps and they're looking for ways to innovate with them, to iterate on them and make them better. And they're not just doing stuff to do stuff, right? I, 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 would, encourage, I would encourage folks, if you're a completist, you just need to kind of nip that shit in the bud, right? And if you don't want the 4x maps then don't get them right if you don't want the supersized maps the x maps don't get them you don't need them right but if you do want them you should get them right because they're they're beautiful and uh they they're <laughs> let's just have a look at these these are all double-sided here's all the maps right uh all the details here and let me just check I literally just got this today. Dave, David Heath was really kind, sent this to me to have a look at. Uh, I believe that some of these maps, so let's have a look, right? Let's have a look first and then we'll talk about what, what's going on with them. So here's 12B. So you'll notice it's got a 12B here. 
and you'll notice how the, the hex corners are smaller, so that it looks more like a, you know, a topographical map, as the case may be. And here's 12. And of course, i got to flip it over, so now I, I can't really tell what the difference is. I'm going to have to just bear with me here. Let's see if I can see. It must be something to do with the terrain that's different. What's going on? I can't tell. All right, we'll have to work that one out in a second. Let me have a look at the little list and see if I can tell what it is. 12B. Oh, there's 12 A, B, and C. They're for specific scenarios. Let me see what it says on the right here. Oh, we'll replace 12, map 12 with 12 C for unexpected drop. And the fanning head mob replaced 12 with 12 B. Got it, okay. Obviously there's some differences and I, at this point in the evening, I'm not able to point them out, but here, they, here, here we go with just a good look at the content right uh, uh, see now here's a, here's a more clear example that I, even I can see the differences right look at that so the, I think this is a scenario where there's a, it's a sunken road and so the troops can the Brits can travel along this sunken road to try and get to an objective over here somewhere but here's the two maps right uh, side by side and you can see the distinct differences. You notice there's no house in the middle on this one here. So the, what's happening here is that for each scenario, rather than, oh, please imagine that this is swampland or hills or a mountain or uh, a stone building versus a wooden building or no building versus some building, uh, you, you get to literally have a map for each scenario type so look, here's another one. So these two, this one doesn't have a house on it either. And I'm sorry, I'm so I'm, I'm zoomed out as far as I can. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do this in the highest res possible, which means we've got a limit on. Uh, look at that. It just this stuff looks so good, and they look great on the X maps too. I'm not don't uh, don't don't get me wrong. If you you know don't I'm not trying to get you to go buy these. Oh look, here, there's a building on the corner on this one. That's pretty obvious, right? So you can see the difference in this guy. And they look pretty neato, right? And these scenarios, I tell you, if you were gonna buy, ooh, that's a big call. Maybe it's because I've played this, this module so much and taught people on it. Uh, but if you were gonna buy one module, I'd really, and if you didn't, you know, if you weren't too fussed, whether it was World War II or modern, this is a really good module because you've got some, just enough cool special rules for the Argentinians and the Brits, because the Brits roll a D8 to fire, not a D6. So they get a little bump, but it also can work out badly for them as well. Uh, they get to do special rallying if they're shaken and malayed. The air conditioner just went off, so now I don't have to talk so freaking loud. Uh, so there's a 7B. Oh, wait, there's a... I don't know how many maps are in here. This is ridiculous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 plus 18 maps. Wow. Okay. Look at these hills. Uh, this great scenario is where you go to storm these hills with artillery and air support and the British Royal Marines coming in at you and you're the Argentinians and you've got uh, big sort of equivalent of 50 cal scale guns and big 12 millimeter uh, AA gun and stuff. It's awesome. Uh, there's a little city, a little village action going on. Another, another there's 12C again. Uh, well, not 12C, but oh, see, look at that. So here's one difference. So there's a building there, right, on that particular map. I, I'm not smart enough to spot the uh, differences on that one particular map uh, between the, the 12B and the 12C. So, and then you've got 6B here, yet again, with uh, your slightly different terrain in different parts. So very, very nice production. And what, so my point about sharing this with you, and uh, thank you to David for sending this to me, uh, uh, free of charge. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, he knows I'm a huge fan of the system. And I go on the record as saying I'm an absolute fanboy for lock and load. 
tactical gaming system because it plays well and it plays fast and it's fun. Uh, I, I don't, I've never seen anybody play a tactical World War II game like this one and not come away have, having had a blast, right? Their, their, their comments are always, oh, it's a blast, it's fun, it's great, it feels right, it's got the, you know, there's enough tactics in it that uh, it feels good versus some of the other games at both ends of the spectrum, which we'll leave the names out, uh, tend to evoke slightly different responses. So another set of maps for a hard to find module, which is now being put back into print by Lock and Load Publishing. And if you are of a mind to want to capture the awesomeness of the Falklands War in, in a very deep dish package with wonderful uh, reference cards and all the rest of it that were not included in the very original deal. You've got your big honk and ass rule book and your module rules and scenarios. The 4K maps are just gorgeous looking pieces of artwork and uh, you, know, you can barely see those hex out outlines but they're, they're there for reference point just enough. Um, I'm digging it and I really appreciate the, uh, thank goodness this box is three inches deep and please do not come out with the 10K version because I have no more room in the box. There we are, we're, 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 we're gonna be jam packed. I've got three sets of maps in there and it's good to go. All right, folks, I want to share that with you. I know it's probably a little bit long, but hopefully you're as excited about all this and the 4X maps, as 4K X maps as I am. And go get you some if you want them. If you don't want them, be happy with what you have. And don't be a victim of buying everything that comes out from a company. Just buy things that you think you, that you want. Uh, don't uh, don't be a sucker for that collective that collecting bug. All right, all right, guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great night. Ciao.